Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you can see me because it's dark, but I'm on my way to another golf fitness workout. And if you look down in the description, you'll be able to see the time that the actual workout starts in case you want to skip um, what I have to say here. But what I want to talk about tonight with working out is intensity. Because basically, uh, the thing that I've seen in, uh, in this last couple months of working out, doing this golf fitness stuff, is that you're, it's a balance, but your level of intensity has to be very, very high when you're working out if you want to see any kind of benefit. If you're just, if you're going in there and you're doing mostly like calisthenic stretching and you're doing all the, you know, the golf fitness things that you're supposed to do, you know, your flexibility and speed training and things like that, you're not really going to see that much of a benefit or much of an actual change to your body unless your intensity is very high. Especially like if you're looking for an added benefit to golf fitness, um, which I, which I kind of am, if you want your body to look better as well, if you want to uh, lose weight and you want to uh, build muscle, uh, things like that, you have to, uh, the only real way to do it is to have super high intensity. So one way to do it is they have this stuff um, that I used to take, but I stopped taking it because it, 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 me, it made me kind of like jittery. This stuff called like Super Pump 350 or 250 or something like that. Basically, it's like stuff that, uh, it's like drinking 14 cups of coffee or something like that. And it makes you like bouncing off the walls, wired crazy. I don't even drink caffeine, so like if I have anything, like a Red Bull or anything like that, like it sends me into like a, like a manic state. So I, I did that for some, and it was great for the intensity of the workout, but it also, um, it leaves you feeling very weird, kind of, and then like it kind of groggy and messed up later. Anyway, so the balance part about it uh, with uh, the intensity of the workout, because if you can go extremely hard and push yourself like as hard as you see guys pushing themselves in like an MMA workout or like a NFL workout or something like that, you're definitely going to see changes and you're seeing fast, but it's a balance because right there at that threshold where you're pushing yourself extremely hard, that's where you get hurt. So if you hurt yourself, this entire thing of golf fitness is completely a waste of time if you end up hurting yourself and sidelined because you hurt yourself in the gym trying to get better on the golf course. So, uh, so tonight, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to have, no matter what the exercise is, even if it's, you know, Pilates style uh, holds or, you know, things like that, or if it's, you know, sled pushes and uh, sled pushes and sledgehammer throws, like whatever it is, I'm going to try to have extremely high intensity, just backed off just a little bit to stay safe especially when you're first when you're when you haven't been doing it too long you know it once you start to get tired your technique can get messed up and that's when you end up getting hurt when you're still trying to go super hard even though you're you're uh you're tired so the the goal and that's why it's kind of like a ramping effect that can be really good the your your best workout for me for what i've seen the best thing you can do is when you can, uh, is what, there's a police car here, I don't want him to bother me. The best thing that you can do in your workout is to be able to go extremely intense early and get your form perfect. When you're, when you still have a lot of energy, get your form perfect and just explode through these perfect motions as, as well as you can and really use up all your energy quick because if you think of like a golf swing you know you can't you don't have like 14 tries to get it right you have to your golf swing has to be precise and great the first time you do it you can't uh you can't be messing around you know hoping to get it right on the third try or something it's got to be explosive and precise the first time you do it so that's my whole rant so let's see i don't even know what we're doing tonight Kind of flying blind here, but let's see what we're doing. Up and down. 
So this is the first exercise we did. Like I said, I was going into this tonight really hoping for something super intense to kind of be super visual to cut. And we ended up doing a, a, some very golf specific, uh, a very a varied range of things, but but lots of different things that are uh, not super visual, but it's, it's important to keep your intensity level up all the same. So here I'm on this Swiss ball and you really gotta like uh, drill your hips into the ball and be more stable. So like David didn't like the way I was doing that. So then watch the difference here. Before I was just kind of bouncing up and down and uh, my hips were moving up and down. So here I'm really trying to, to push my hips into the ball as my legs are coming up. And that really gets my, uh, my butt muscles uh, engaged. And for me, it's always really important to work out my butt before almost I do anything so that my, uh, so that it, those muscles can be used to protect my back. So here, so that was, uh, so everything that you see, we'll do, we're doing three, we're doing three of. So this is a little uh, circuit where we'll do this whole circuit around three or four times. I forget how many. So we did 10 of those leg extensions on the Swiss ball and then uh, 10 of these rollouts, either 10 or 12 of these rollouts, however many you can do. Uh, this is just a little thing. You can usually find these little roller things at like the Goodwill store. They're really, uh, and if you don't want to do that, just put like socks on your hands and do it on the kitchen floor with like on a pad for your knees. And then uh, traditional sit-ups where you're just trying to uh, to go kind of slow and controlled. You can see that uh, some of my ab weakness is making my head like kind of jerk up and use that for momentum to come into the sit up so um but yeah these are real real traditional you really try to i'm trying to keep my arms low to the ground so i don't use those for momentum to to uh kind of cheat on the way up and then uh so then we did the, those three things and then we you did did those in a loop uh, we did those three things combined with this next thing made a loop so then what we did was, basically this is like, I'm not sure what it's called, it's, it's like a, a farmer's carry or something like that. So, and then each time we did this, we went heavier. So the fir this first time was just, I think, uh, 40 pounds in my, in my hand. And then, so we're walking around for, I think, uh, 45 seconds, and halfway through the 45 seconds, uh, we switch hands. So the, the point of this is you don't want the, uh, the weight to be touching your leg on the side you want to kind of hold it out and you want your spine to be straight up and down and walking really controlled so you don't want to be leaning over to one side you can just see Justin's doing a really good job of it I'm doing a pretty good job of it too uh, but you'll see as as it gets near the end of the time I start leaning over so then there we just switched arms and now we're doing it balancing out the other side these uh, anti-tilting and anti-rotational movements, you'll see a lot in uh, David's workouts. Uh, it's just really crucial for golf to be able to, if you wanna be um, able to be real explosive and also uh, protect yourself, you have to have all those same breaking muscles and those anti-rotation, anti-tilting muscles. And also the same thing, that's why we do bridges and planks as well. All these kind of stabilizing muscles are very important, especially for me, because uh, that's a weakness in my body that's gotten better recently. Actually, I've been doing this now for almost, I, I don't know, like two and a half months or something, these workouts, and uh, I've actually uh, had a, a great net benefit of, um, I lost almost two inches around my belly, and, uh, and I've gained weight. So if I can keep, you know, getting my, my, uh, my gut smaller but gaining weight, that means that I'm getting, you know, more muscle and less fat. So I, ha I, don't, I haven't done my body fat. I know, I know what it was before. And then I'll, so I'll get, it, I'll get it tested one of these days and we'll see what the, what the difference is. So here it's with a, ke with a kettlebell and uh, you just want to... Um, you're just doing these touchdowns with it, 10 aside. So this is all part of the same circuit we've been watching since the beginning. And you can see how uh, this is now incorporating balance into these stability motions. And this is great exercise for me particularly because I have really uh, weak ankles, especially my left ankle in college. I jumped down some stairs and 
uh, twisted my ankle and I couldn't walk for two weeks. So ever since then, I twist my ankle very easily, especially on the golf course. And uh, so it used to be like about once a round, I would just, you know, walk into some little gopher hole or something and twist my ankle really badly. And recently, knock on wood, I haven't done that. I haven't twisted my ankle. Hey, I wanted to tell you guys as well that on Friday, this Friday night at 8 o'clock Pacific time, and then we're doing five jumps as high as you can. Uh, explosive and just jumping as high as you can. So at 8 o'clock Pacific time this Friday, I'm going to be uh, live broadcasting on YouTube. So go to youtube.com slash show, and there will be a live broadcast of our workout. So from, uh, so from the gym, we're going to be live broadcasting everything that we're doing. And also, I think I'm going to try to pull David's arm and get him to answer some golf um, get him to answer some golf fitness questions so that you guys can write in golf fitness questions in between the workouts. Uh, I can pitch them to David and he can answer. So those, those first five things are all done in a circuit and then separately uh, we're doing these next few things. So this is like your leg is up there and uh, there's, I asked David like what's the balance between how much is on the forward leg and how much is on the back leg and uh, so I'm doing 10 of these and he said just whatever is comfortable. If you use that back leg too much you're really going to uh, it's really going to get tired quickly. So I was actually happy with that because that was 20 pounds and I was able to go up to, I was able to go up to 35, do those. So basically, so on each hand, so 70 pounds. So this is a uh, same thing. So just like we, we do planks in the front and this is the same thing. This is that uh, super stability. And it's also like, it's good because we're doing eight of these and it's like all I can do to get all eight in. So that's really good for building power and this is where the intensity comes in where you can really do that really toughly. Now that was not a great setup for that exercise. You could see how much uh, angle there was in that uh, TRX rope. So we went over here so now the, the rope is a lot more straight up and down. So it makes it more difficult but it also makes it a, a lot more a better exercise. So here we're doing, uh, here's three and then four. We're doing eight of these as well. And you can see how difficult it is. So thanks a lot for watching this, guys. And be sure to tune in 8 o'clock this Friday night. We're going to do a live broadcast. And if it's successful, we'll do a lot of them. Uh, we'll do them every Friday night. So uh, uh, tune in and come with your golf fitness questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.